Hi guys. <laughs> I'm gonna need to. Oh, what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. Kind of balance this. Hello everyone. Hey Pam, you just sent me an email. Okay. I'll. I'll, is it um, regarding the, um, hey Lynn, oh, so my tenant is down here and the puppy likes to bark at him, um, is it regarding the, hi Del, hi Clean Your Heart channel, Is it regarding the, Pam, is it regarding the challenge we're doing, their next date? Craft today with Rita. Hi, Rita. Hi, Diana. Hello. Oh, it is. Okay, good. I was going to ask you when we were going to do our next one, actually. Hi, Brian. He's not going to answer. Okay, so. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I wanted to, let me turn the volume down on, goodbye. I wanted to, let me turn the volume down on, goodbye. Bye, Brian. Goodbye. <laughs> um, so I wanted to show you a mini haul that I did. Um, hi, Blackberry. Who's Blackberry? Oh, hi, Kathy. How are you? Um, I wanted to do, show you guys what I got. This choker is like two... I can't do chokers. They're choking me. <laughs> I love it, though. It's vintage, and I think my mom got it. Anyways, um, I have a little... It's like a menagerie of things I'm going to talk about tonight. Oh, good, Kathy. All my favorite peeps are on here. Peeps. Little chicks. <laughs> That's what I think about when I say peeps little chicks. <laughs> um, I did a little bit from the dollar store, a little bit from Walmart, and a little bit from online. Yeah, I guess with a turtleneck. I think because I've gained so much weight, I don't feel comfortable with like a choker right now. They're like <laughs> choking me. Oh, Lynn, I did. I got your mail today, in fact. And thank you so much for your sweet card. It was made my day. Thank you so much. Yes, I got it. So I will put that in your bracelet in the mail tomorrow for sure. Um, so I'm going to say some thank yous. I'm also going to show you what I got. And some friend mail. Um, can you guys see me okay? Is it too dark in here? Oh, I love you too, uh, Lynn. <laughs> um, Pam from Creative Homescaping, who's on today. Okay, thank you, Pam. Um, she turned me on to these pretty tulips. Now, I wanted to buy two at least, but I didn't. I only bought one. They were only $3. And they're super nice, you know, with the nice um, stems or like plastic. They look really more realistic. So there's three, six, seven, eight bulbs. And I think they look rather nice. I agree, Pam. I think this was a good pick. So I got one. I would have liked two. But like I said, I'm trying to be... Oh, there's nine. I forgot. One fell off in the bag. So I got to put one on back on. Um, so nine little bulbs. But I think they're beautiful. And this will be so pretty. Yeah, I love them. Um, for spring and Easter, you know, I think that would be so pretty. So I got one of these for $3 at Walmart. And I only got one. Oh, really? They had more at my store, but I wasn't. I'm trying to be so careful. I got one of these. Um, these are nice. I like the quality of these, the hydrangeas. Hydrangeas are some of my favorite flowers, too, by the way. 
And I really love the periwinkle ones and these. Um, these were only $3. And they have nice um, leaves. And like the ones from the Dollar Tree, I might go grab them really quick to show you the difference. Um, they're not bad, but these are more realistic. Like they have like the touches of blush pink and they're just a better quality feel wise where the other ones are like that acrylic, you know, fabric. But I only bought one. I wish I had maybe two more because I have these. I think these were purchased at Pottery Barn. Um, a long time ago, and you can get them aftermarket. They're cheaper. Yeah, I know. I agree. Um, these are really nice. Um, I want to say Pottery Barn or Kirkland's, one of the two. So aren't these beautiful? So I always have these in my living room because I have that living room set that's kind of like an ice blue, and I thought, well, these have kind of a green mixed in, and I'm just going to put one. I should have got two. I really should have. I'm, I don't know. I was really trying to be conscious of my spending. But look at it. Isn't that pretty? Oh, no. See, I should have got two. Now it's off balance. It needs one down here or here. Yeah. So there's four of the blue and only one of the green. So I need to get one. <laughs> Darn it. One more green at least. Two would be better because there's four of the blue. Ugh. Okay, well, if I just did two like that, that would be pretty. I, I have some blue ones too, but haven't thought to use them together. Well, these ones, look at Pam. The ones I have, I don't know if they're like yours. They have a little bit of green in them. So I thought that the green would be a nice offset, you know? And I need to, do, I need to get, I don't know what I was thinking. I know better. I should have got two to three. Anyways, that's what I got was one of the hydrangeas. Hydrangeas. Um, anyways, so that is my buy. One of these, one of the tulips, which are so pretty. I love white. And then let's move on to Dollar Tree. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. Now it's falling everywhere. Um... I have not been shopping. I'm going to be honest, you guys. I really haven't, which I'm happy for. I did a little shopping online, and I feel really guilty about it, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, hi. How are you? Live the life you love. I always forget your first name, and I'm so sorry. What is your first name? Hi, Davida. How are you? Oh, my God. I saw your carrots. I did one carrot last year, Davida, in burlap, and I freaking loved it. And I'm going to probably make a, a few more this year. I like the ones you made, too. And I remember um, I saw different versions of them on last year. I really need to make them because I think they're super cute. But another favorite flower is the delphinium. I had them at my wedding. I think I had the periwinkle color though, so this color, and, um, but I got the white, and I, and when you see these at Dollar Tree, the really long ones, get them, it's so hard to find the long, nicer version of these, sorry, I have a hair in my mouth, um, of plants, so I, I only bought three, because I can mix them in. Oh, you made them, Kathy? Oh, gosh, they're so cute, those darn carrots. Um, you found the purple ones. So, gosh, I know, I felt so lucky. I felt like I hit the jackpot, but I only bought three because um, I, I bought last year two, like, uh, these little, I don't know what they're called. Um, they're not morning glories, but they look like little teacups, but they're pointed down, hanging. And I have some white ones from the 99 cent store. And then I have these pom-pom ones. So they're all cream and white. And I think that would look like a beautiful arrangement. Which I'll put in this big vase that I have. So I only bought three. So I got those three from the Dollar Tree. I think they're nice. 
Oh, really? Hey there, it's a chore thing. Oh, I just love these. Okay, so I got those. Then what else I got at the Dollar Tree? This is I bought a few weeks ago because I had to get like certain things like cleanser and stuff. Um, hey, Becky. <laughs> I could not find my ribbon that's, um, oh, what is it called? Um, why can't I think every time I go live? It's in pink gingham. So I wanted it for Easter, but then my friend um, is having a baby, and I just found out she's having a girl, so I'll use this, but... I bought this for her to put all her gifts in because I thought she was having a boy. So now I'm going to go back and see. Hopefully they have the pink one. And I don't mind keeping this one because I like blue gingham. But I hope they have the pink one so I can put all her little cute gifts in there, cheap gifts. And I'll do a gift card and I'll use this gingham, you know. Um, darn it. But this one is cute. <laughs> Look at him. He's adorable. And he's like gingham in there. So I got one of the this. I have another one. And I can't find it. So that's why I got another one. Okay. Davida. Oh, you have to work. That sucks. <laughs> then I got, this was with the, um, the fairy garden stuff. You know, like little gnomes and everything. I couldn't resist. It had a little, hi Pat. It had a little bunny, oh my goodness, and a little fawn, and a little, I think, blue jay, or, I don't, he looks like a woodpecker, but, anyways, um, three for a dollar, and I was going to put them in my cloche, um, so I got those, and some of those little mini, uh, moss rocks, and I can't find them, they're here somewhere, but, um, I'm going to use that with some moss, I think that would be super cute, and that bunny, look at that bunny and the deer, adorable. So cute. So I got those. Then, okay, I did a little bit of online shopping um, from friends, Carol from, um, what is it called? Bargain Shopping. She had this little bunny. Look at it. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Christy. <laughs> um, oh, my God. Look at how pre precious she is. And then she has a little hat. It's like a floppy hat, and it's a little floppy-eared one. Oh, it's okay, Becky. Look at it. It moves. Oh, my gosh. I love these. And it's a, I think it's a Boyd's Bear. Her name is Lucy. Yeah, Boyd's Bear. Oh my gosh, isn't she cute for Easter? Look at her little face. Mm. Her little hat kind of keeps coming off, but so cute. Her name is Lucy. <laughs> and she's got a little tail. I think she, I, I like her sitting down though. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so I got that. Um, <clears throat> I got these little garland beads, which I've been wanting. I'll use these, um, I know, um, Live the Life You Love, Barg Carol from Bargain Shopping has been selling a bunch of her Boyd's Bears off, and, um, sometimes they're two dollars, so, I mean, there's something definitely, um, you should look into her channel because she'll have $2 pop-ups, $5 pop-ups, and that's where I've been getting some stuff. And I got this garland. I'll use this for, you know, 4th of July and then, you know, Christmas, Valentine's Day. And uh, they're just wood beads, which I have never been able to get. Every time I go to buy them, they're gone or they're too expensive. I, I want to say these were from Michael's. Because the tag is really big, you know what I mean? Like how they do big tags. And the tag kind of looks like a Michael's tag. So I got that for $2. I love it. So I can't wait to use that. And um, what else did I get? Oh. 
I couldn't help myself. I got myself. Hey, Peaches. This is, I just love it. It's just a junkie, or not junkie, but you know, not real. Hey, Carol. I'm just showing you the necklace I got from you. So, yeah, I'm sorry, not junky. It's just fashion jewelry. But I love it. I love the colors. So I can't wait to wear it. And, oh, I think it's, so, I think it's like faux highlight. So pretty. I love the colors. Oh, I can't wait to wear it. Especially with a suit. That will really jazz it up, you know. So I got that. <clears throat> Um, what else? I didn't bring everything out, I don't think. Okay, well, oh, I got this from Carol, who's on here, bargain shopping. And I like, I like, um, ver, um, Venetian glass. When I went to Venice, I couldn't afford it, obviously, <laughs> but... Um, when I came back to the States, they had some Venetian glass rings, like at Pier 1, that were from Venice. So I bought one, and now I bought another one from Carol, and it's like the, I'm pretty sure this is Venetian glass. I mean, who knows, you know, but the one I got from Pier 1 was, but um, it had a tag on it that said it. This probably is too, who knows, isn't that pretty? Chunky and it's not zebra, it's just kind of like swirly. You know, there's like the light. Anyways, I got that. And this is so pretty. It almost matches exactly. Hey Manji, it's a little lighter, but I can wear it separately. And it's a pendant. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. I could totally lie and tell people I got it in Venice, but I'm not going to. <laughs> oh my God. Look how pretty. Isn't that beautiful? I just love, I love this one. So that's a beautiful pendant. I'll probably wear it like in a long chain, you know, longer chain. So it sits on my blouse kind of nicely. And then this I might wear just separately. Carol, you really do have some really great stuff. I mean, I thought I had stuff. <laughs> so I got these from Carol for bargain shopping. Go check out her pop-up sales when she has pop-up sales. And I got these two, and I just love them. And I can't wait to wear these. Thank you, Carol. I got some other things from Carol, and I, I didn't bring them over, so I apologize. But, um... Yeah, I didn't bring it over. Then I got as far as uh, friend mail from my dear friend Frances. I don't think she's on here right now, but Lynn, you know Frances. And she was sneaky. And she said, hey, head over to um, so-and-so's sale and check out what they have, you know, you might like it. It's a craft sale. I'm like, oh, okay. I was kind of in the middle of some stuff, though. And so I did tune in, and I was checking in every now and then. And um, everything I basically commented on, she got me. Sneaky little gal. And so I'm going to show you what she got me. And I really appreciate it. That was so nice, and she did not have to do that, but it was so fun getting a package. <laughs> I'll show you the craft things first. So the first thing was this, um, like, little, hey, Charlene, I know, so sweet of her. They're like little pom-poms that look like snowballs, sort of. I'm going to use them for Christmas and put them like a little in a mini pa uh, uh, pail, you know, bucket. Hey, Laura. <laughs> and, uh, these are freaking adorable. <laughs> so I'll save those for next year. And um, 
I'm going to do that in a, in a little mini pail. I have a mini pail for my mom, so that'll be perfect. Oh, uh, bunny tail. That's a great, good, I don't know, I can't talk. A great idea. Okay, so I got those. I got these little um, Jolie's Bouquet Boutique. They're cherry blossoms. Like, I guess you would use them maybe in, um, like, uh, what is it called? Scrapbooking. But I'm going to do a DIY with these. Um, so look out for that. I can't wait to use these. I love cherry blossoms, actually. And, in fact, oh, I bought some cherry blossoms from the Dollar Tree. I'll have to show you that, that also. Um, and when you see these cherry blossoms or delphiniums or dogwood at the Dollar Store, you just have to buy them because they go fast. So I got these, and they're two pieces so I'm going to do a DIY with these, and I can't wait to use them. I know, aren't they beautiful? So, and they have like little pearls on them. So she got me that. And then these were from the Dollar Tree originally, and I bought these before, but I never got these colors. So they're like a teal. I know they're coming off green. Oh, a 3D picture, yeah. Ooh, with branches, that would be so cute. So they're kind of like a turquoise green. There's two of them. This is more of turquoise, that's more of a green, and then like a regular monarch butterfly. I bought them before, but I've never gotten these colors, so I'm so thankful. And I know where I'm going to send one of them to and make a little thing for. Um, I'm not going to say, because she might be on here, or she might see this video. But I got three of those. So cute. And the teal ones look pretty with the cherry blossom. Then, I was going to bid on these, but I commented that I thought they were really nice. <laughs> and she got them for me. And I didn't have time to put the bid in. But they're like craft scissors. And so one of them, I've... I have a pair for my mom, but they're old, and I don't really want to, like, use them anymore. But um, one is, like, a zigzag. Oh, yeah. I know. So nice of her. I know you can't see, or maybe you can. See the zigzag? Oh, wait. Yeah, these are zigzag. Yeah, because look at it right here. Okay, I got that one. I got... So nice of her. These are like a scalloped edge. Isn't that cool? I can't wait to use these. I'm so excited. They seem really sharp too, like brand new. And um, this one's like a smaller, like uh, not a zigzag, but you know, like a little wavy line. No, Manji, I didn't. I'm sorry. I meant to email you back. I do want to talk to you, though. <laughs> and, yeah, these are, like, brand new. They're so nice. Oh, my gosh. Then, let me put these in here. Oh, she got me this, which I was going to decorate one of my bunnies with. Isn't that pretty? Me too. She got them before I could do that. <laughs> so I'm going to decorate my, one of my bunnies with that because it's got pink and pearls and silver. So cute. And then she got me this little um, box of, these are nice, you guys. I, I said they were very nice and traditional. And um, look how nice they came, these earrings. They're... They're like a Monet, but they're clips. Oh, I can't take this. Are you guys talking about doing a collab? What collab is that? Uh-oh. I just ripped that off. I don't know how to take this. Anyways. There are these pretty little... I don't know. They're just so pretty. 
Isn't that pretty? I know you can't see the bottoms of the rings and they're still covered. They're very classic, which I like. That was so nice of her. So I gotta watch what I say. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so sweet of her. But, and I do have one announcement to make too, which I will tell you guys. Thank you, Kathy. Um, let's see, did I show you guys everything? Yes, I think I did. Uh, yes. I'm trying to, oh, one more thing, one more thing. This is from Target. So, you know, I have my little spring tray. I, I ran in there just for something, like cat food. I can't remember. But they had these little lemons. And I have the lemon ones, but I didn't have the lime ones. And these were a dollar. And they're kind of that sagey, jadeite color, which goes so nicely in here with my little plants that are like a frosted sage. I just love them. I should have got three, but I was like, I'm trying to hold back. So I just got those. Yeah, and then, oh, I, one more thing. So these are, these are the lemon ones that I got last year. Okay. And then these are the little lime ones. So I should have got one more. I know to get things in three, but I was really trying to be conscious of my purchases. So, and it's so cute for spring. I mean, come on. Oh, I just love it. Ugh. I know. Love these. <laughs> and last thing that she got me was, um, yeah, I think this is the last thing. Two of these, they're photo scrapbooks, which I've never done scrapbooking, but I'm definitely gonna give it a try. So there are two of these, like little photo books that you can put, you know, those little stickies in and pictures. So I have two of these that she got me, two. Um, so I think these came from Cindy, Lynn, these came from Cindy Lovin, Lovin. She had a craft sale. And, oh, okay, originally it says Michael's on here. Michael's. And um, uh, Francesca, or Francis got them for me. And I thought, oh my God, this is so cool. I, sometimes I need to calm my mind down and I think scrapbooking might be a good, you know, solution for that. So I might have to invest in some little stickers and such, like, you know, like little cherry blossoms and, you know, things like that. I have bought a couple, but I just never used them because I don't, I didn't know what to do with them. So she got me all that. Isn't that sweet? And then I did buy myself, besides this necklace from Carol and a couple other things, lots from Carol, which I don't know why I didn't bring them over here. I think because I was putting them with outfits. <laughs> but I got this little ring. It's like a rose gold um, stainless steel ring. And I like how big it is and it's like a little cuff. So I got that. I don't remember what I paid for it. I think $4, but I really like the look of it. And um, I like chunky rings, you know. So... I, I, it's not perfect and I don't care. I, it doesn't matter because I, I like chunky rings. It's going to get banged up at some point also, but it feels nice. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. Thank you. So that's all my goodies. I have not, this has been built up for like over a month of, no, that's not true. That's not true. A couple of the Dollar Tree things were, but uh, the auction wins were kind of recent. Um, but I, what was I going to say? Um, now I can't remember what I was going to tell you guys. Well, 
what I've decided is that I'm going to do probably one more, um, like, a uh, challenge that is also going to be at a no cost. Oh, thank you, Laura. <laughs> um, and I, I thought that I, I know that I have one coming up with, um, Pam. And... I also know that um, I have, uh, what else did I commit to? Oh, I think Denise and I are going to be doing another one that we did last year. And, but the ones that I do by myself, I'm going to be including my subscribers. And hopefully I get better at how I do the video, you know, like last time I couldn't do the, the music, but I'll get better to where I think I can apply the music and it'll be more enjoyable and you don't have to listen to me talk. <laughs> but, um, I had so much fun seeing what you guys created and, um, uh, I mean, Kathy, I think you're the only one on here or Misha might be on here. I don't know. Um, but what you guys created was just beautiful and, I had so much fun. I just keep staring at the pictures because what you guys did was just over the top and beautiful. And I'm going to continue to better the video because I'm still learning on it. But I thought, wow, you know, I, this is so cool. So I think I'm going to do one more if I can squeeze it in before it gets super, super busy for me in my staging business. And I don't know, guys, how long... I'm to hold on with staging right now because I hurt my foot and I have to elevate it and it hurts. <laughs> oh shoot, I missed the comments. Um, let me read it. Uh, oh good, I'm so glad Laura, I'm glad you liked it. They were so creative, they really were. I mean just amazing. So I'm going to try to squeeze in one more and then Pam and I from Creative Homescaping, uh, her and I have one to do together. And um, it's probably going to hit my busy season. So the challenge was um, to do, to create something in like a vessel. I called it a collage. It wasn't, I couldn't find the word for it, so I just called it a collage. It wasn't necessarily a vignette. But I guess technically it could have been called a vignette. So it was called Spring um, Spring Collage Challenge. It was very simple. And um, my subscribers could submit their pictures in to me. They could submit two pictures. And it had to be you know, like a clear vessel, like a, you know, a vase, a beverage container, a cloche, a apothecary jar, a lantern, something of that sort, and then you had to add like some greenery or floral and like something that was springy, like a bunny or something, you know, like, uh, yeah, it was more like a vignette, but I didn't want to call, a vignette, call it a vignette, and I don't know why, because really a collage is like, you know, something on a wall or paper or something, but I was like, I don't care. Um, they know what I mean. <laughs> so I did call it that and it was kind of funky, but, um, so the next one will be no spending as well. I don't want you guys to spend any money, so I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it will be for springtime and it's going to be something like you can't just like go out and rush and buy because I all watch your hauls and I know if you buy anything, <laughs> But it's going to be something that is very springy, and I don't want you to spend a dime. And uh, I want you to shop your house, which I know we all can do. And uh, Manji, you did a great job. You said you didn't have anything, and you pulled off two pieces that were beautiful. So, um, yeah, so I can't wait. So I'll be doing that probably shortly. And then Pam and I will be doing our tablescape one coming up. And, uh, and then my busy season might hit, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, but I will also include subscribers because I want you all to, you know, 
take advantage and send in your beautiful creations and I want to see them. So um, the next thing is thank yous. Thank you for everyone who um, participated in the challenge. You know, the ones that were subscribers and the ones that were fellow YouTubers. Thank you to everyone who created a challenge and I could participate in because those are always fun. And thank you to all of those, uh, all of you who make comments and I appreciate it. I haven't gotten to my comments. I'll be honest. I've been like hit or miss with them because I've had something going on with my business. Um, and I've had to take care of that for over a week now. And so it's been kind of hectic, but I'll, you know, get back on track. And uh, it's just an inconvenience what happened with my business, but we'll get back on track and all that. I don't want to feel, I don't want you all to feel that I'm not appreciating you and your comments and you participating. I know I, I took care of every, watching all the videos for, um, uh, for my challenge, but it took me a couple of days because everything hit me at once with my business. Basically, someone broke into the house that I had staged. Then they broke in again. So before they broke in again, um, I got a phone call at like 4 in the morning from the homeowner. And I met her out there by 5. And she said, well, I have appointments, um, you know, to show the house today. And I said, well, can you get your, your husband's truck and let's just go to my facility and pick up some stuff. Let's just do the best that we can. And we did it together. She helped me all along the way. It wasn't her fault. It wasn't my fault. But I did it for free again. And um, and then it got broke. She was going to get some cameras. And it got broken into a second time. And this is like in a really nice area. So I think people watch the houses, you know. And um, she, before she got the cameras up, they broke in at the back and took things out of the back rooms. So, it is an inconvenience, and this thing does happen, but this is like technically the third time since January this happened. Our insurances cover it, but it's still an inconvenience and a pain. Um, but, and then my foot hurts, so it's like, oh my gosh, it's so hard for me to stand for long periods of time. Um, I fractured my foot. Oh, years ago, and then I did something recently to where I think I refractured a little bit of it. It's starting, I can tell. It's hurt so bad, but it's not fully swollen. But I can't stand on it for very long. And this has been a little over a week ago this happened. So it's like when it rains, it pours. But you know what? It's just an inconvenience. I'm still fine. It's stress, but, you know, I'll get over it. But I wanted to thank you all. I'm not ignoring you all. I just have had so much going on. and um, But I wanted to share the little things I picked up here and there from Target, Dollar Tree, the auctions that I bought things online from, and the friend mail that I got from my friend Francis. And I'm so thankful. And, um, and now I just want to say... I'm going to go to my other channel, Typing Error. Oops, Laura, I was thanking Lori for hosting. Oh, okay. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> um, I, if you guys are interested, I'm going to have a pop-up sale um, in my second channel. And I'm probably going to get more regular with that as well. Um, like, I think I'm going to do a Tanzanite Tuesday and uh, Sleeping Beauty, Arizona Sleeping Beauty Sunday. So, um, I will log off of this live and go on to my second channel, which is Creative Lori's Jewelry and Gems. And, um, you know, hit the notification bell if you guys are interested in jewelry. I have some craft lots, I have some fashion jewelry, and I have my dad's jewelry. So, if you guys want to see that, Log off of here, and we'll go on to my second channel. And um, but before we go, I have. Oh, thank you, Pat. Oh, Pat, I think my dad has some more tie spinel earrings for you. Um, 
Before we do that, I want to say that I've made the decision to, um, you know how my my dad's cat is sick and we need to have the surgery and if he's getting worse and worse it's affecting his breathing and um uh one of uh, a fellow youtuber had done a telethon or youtubeathon for her dog and he, he i think it's he had to have like emergency surgery at some point within days which she didn't have all the money she needed to raise almost as much as me but mine cost about a thousand more and um, I decided I just, I'm, my hands are tied, everything, my assets, everything. I can't liquidate fast enough. Things keep popping up. So I'm going to have a little pork chop a thon, which that's his name, is pork chop. And um, we're going to do like a little telethon for four hours. Oh, thank you, Pat. Thank you. And I'm not going to say who, but there might be someone helping me because um, I kind of need help. I can't catch all the comments sometimes, and I'll be on for a straight four hours. We're going to be selling jewelry. My dad's new jewelry, his second-hand jewelry that he's bought from, like, estate sales or wherever. Um, we'll be doing some odds and ends, like, small enough stuff to, like, send in a package some bigger stuff, but very few bigger things. Um, and I'm going to go full four hours and hopefully that person can help me because I feel like I do miss a lot of the comments because they fly by on my camera phone and it's hard catching and looking down at my laptop and writing everything down. So hopefully um, she can help me and all the proceeds are going to go towards his surgery and that's why I'm gonna do it. The other person did it for full 24 hours, but I know I can't do that because I don't think I have enough stuff, and she did, but also um, I, don't, I don't think I can stay up 24 hours. I'm, I'm physically, I'm not feeling that great, and then secondly, um, I'm by myself, you know, like she had a little bit of help, so. I'm gonna hone it into like four hours. <laughs> you know, I can't do the super chat on that channel um, because I'm not big enough yet. Um, I don't know if I should do it on this channel or if I should do it on the jewelry channel. I could do the super chat on this channel, but not the other channel because I've only got like 40, I think, subscribers. Um, so I'm kind of torn. I don't know if, what channel I should do it on, but I also don't want to lose subscribers because I'm doing another jewelry thing, you know, on my channel. <sighs> yeah, maybe I should. I'm just going to say, look, this is the last one. <laughs> yeah, okay, Pam. Yeah, Christy, okay. I know, you're right, you're right. So maybe I will do it on this channel because I have a broader audience and they do know I do rescue kitties and dogs and everything. Um, in fact, today, before I went on, what took me so long was I had to do a welfare check on horses and these goats and pigs and I had to call it in again to the animal control. And um, I was mad, you know, because it hasn't been fixed. It's been over two weeks. Other people have called in on it, and um, they need to fix it. They need to fix the problem. That's so true, Pam. You know, what happened was I was doing a lot of jewelry, though, on my channel. Um, and this is, why, this is why it's important we all talk, because what I've learned is you basically have to do kind of one thing on your channel. You know, like if it's lifestyle, it's lifestyle. If it's jewelry or if it's decor, you know, and mine is mainly decor. When I've done anything else in other than decor, like my recipes or whatever, it doesn't do very good, which is fine. But the jewelry I was just doing to help my dad out, and then I created the second channel, but it took me a few months, you know. And I, but you're right, this is like raising money because it's becoming an emergency now for, for the kitty. And, um... You know, I'll show you 
when I go to the vet and after the surgery and everything. See, I can't bring him to my house because I don't think he's going to get along with my cats. And um, But when I'm in the car taking him to the vet and everything, I can, you know, do a video and then let, update you as I'm waiting. That's what the other gal did. And I thought, you know, I'm just, I'm desperate because I can't provide for him. I can't afford this surgery. And I've tried and I've tried and it's like $5,200, you know. So I'm going to sell off whatever I can. Jewelry, a little decor. Um, I'm going to do some DIYs. I know, I feel so guilty. Um, I feel like he's suffering because I can't come up with the money, you know. And my dad, his hands have been tied. My dog, Fred, who he takes care of, has had mouth issues and he, we had to take him in recently. I just feel horrible. So I realize I have to take an immediate action. And then after seeing uh, what this other YouTuber did, um, Byro, um, thank you for tuning in. Oh, buy it's a chore thing. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> After seeing what she was able to do, I mean, even if she didn't raise all the money, it's like she had the right idea. But she just happened to have like a ton of jewelry, you know, uh, fashion jewelry. And I mean, she posted like 360 items. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know. So our situation is becoming more and more immediate. So I realized I have to take action. So I'm going to get with my friend and see if she can help, like call the, the, the chat, you know, when someone wants something and help me out and um, kind of go from there. Bye, Paula. Thank you for tuning in. No, so the vet won't let me, the vet, <laughs> they said I have to pay, I think it was like 90% down. Well, what's the difference in the 10%, you know what I mean? And um, I really didn't like him, but I'm feeling desperate that I feel like I just have to get it done. Yeah, 90%. So, I mean, I feel like my hands are tied and I he, I've been saying something about this cat for months now, you know, and he just keeps suffering and he has, you know, pus in his ears and it's getting more and more inflamed. So they're going to be removing the whole canal out, uh, but they'll, they'll, he'll, they'll keep his ear. It's just they'll remove the canal. And, um, I feel so bad. I know I feel awful. And he's a sweet cat, you guys. His name is Porkchop, and he thinks he's a dog, and we take him on little, you know, whenever I'm at my dad's house, when he's staying at my house in California, if I have to run to the bank or go through the drive through my dad's like, you better take Porkchop because he'll want to go. Because he'll cry and cry. It's like he knows. He cries at the window. And so I'm like, oh, okay. So when I take him to the bank, you know, I have to take him to the ATM. Like he just likes to stand there or, you know, I hold him and I'm going up the ATM. Then when I go to like a fast food or something, <laughs> he likes to stand on the windowsill greeting the people who are taking our money, you know, the people that work there. And they're like, oh my God, that, that cat is so cool. <laughs> Bye, Pam. Okay, bye Pam, thank you for tuning in. Um, so, I just, okay, bye, thank you. Um, so, I just have to get, do it, you know, quickly. It's getting worse, it's affecting his breathing now. So guys, I'm gonna tune off here, go to my other channel to uh, do the jewelry, and I've got a little bit of craft lots, uh, fashion jewelry, and, you know, regular uh, fashion, or fine jewelry for my dad, and um, we'll, we'll go from there. So, um, I don't know if I can type in my, um, let me type in the name of my page.
page. Hold on. Okay, so it's Creative Lori's Jewelry and Gems. There we go. Oh, I misspelled creative. <laughs> You guys know what I mean, though. Yes. Thank you, Pat. Yes. Thank you. So, give me, like, a minute. Not even a minute. I'm going to grab this jewelry and kind of set it up and put this stuff aside. And then we'll get started on the jewelry. And, um, and also, too, guys, if there's something that you all want as far as jewelry... Like, Pat, I know you want those Thai earrings, Thai black spinel earrings. Just let me know, and then that way I can let my dad look for it in his stash. He just went back to Nevada to grab some more stuff, and that's why I've had some more different things. Um, and so I've been lucky enough to show you guys some different things. Um, so I'm going to put all this stuff away and get the jewelry up front show you guys some goodies get my beautiful flower look how pretty that looks too oh i just love springtime flowers <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna see you in a little bit and um let me know what sizes you want to see okay all right bye guys thank you